Well, if you want a passionate international football rivalry, you've got one here. Brazil and Uruguay. It evokes memories of 1950 and the so-called Maracanazo when Uruguay spoiled the Brazilian party. You have to take into account the fact that Uruguay is a tiny country compared to Brazil, Stuart. You're absolutely right, Derek. But Uruguay, over the years, have produced great players. They've produced some really good sides. They've got an outstanding manager. This should be a really good game. But you have to say, Brazil are favourites. Starting 11 for Brazil. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Fred plays with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And the striker is Richarlison. This is what they'll be facing today. Fernando Muslera is the goalkeeper. Lucas Torreira plays with Rodrigo Bentancur in the centre of midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Well, it's a good Brazil move in the making. A glorious chance. And kept out by Jimenez. Can they create something from here? Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Has a go. Can they keep it out? Well, no damage done. Happy to take on the shot. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, as a defender, that will suit you down to the ground. Can they take the lead here? Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Who can he pick out? Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. Well, he took care of it defensively. The Arascaeta. Now, was that the denial of a goal-scoring opportunity? It falls on the referee to decide. But a yellow card is the decision. Typical one for the referee, Stuart. Yeah, but like the referee, I would give him the benefit of the doubt. But it's a big call, mind you. Well, great read there to intercept. This attack looks highly promising. Fred! Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Played over. A goal! The opening statement of the match. A richly deserved lead. And now they can celebrate. Well, here's another look at it. Certainly, delivery into the box couldn't have been any better. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Bentancourt now with Cavani chance to finish really good diving save he's driven in the corner the clearance wasn't decisive
Well, when you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area, and they don't reorganise themselves, and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. being the keeper's ball Fred oh what an opportunity and it's in the back in front stunning scenes here well here it is again and it's all about the pace in transition they're so quick to get out from the back. And then through on goal, it just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Now oh, that's a well-timed pass. And what a magical save it was! Neymar. And he's in. And a goal to really bolster things for them. Two in front. Well, as you can see from the replay, it's the perfect through ball from Neymar, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. And the emphasis is on creativity. Great opportunity. And opting for power over placement, but not the desired result. Might be a chance here. Oh, it's mischievous. Oh, and that is an audacious chip. Well, he might smile. The goalkeeper has no interest in smiling. Well, here's the replay. And just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And what about the finish? That requires so much technical ability to get that right. What a goal that is. And there's the referee's whistle, and Brazil have made it through to the quarterfinals. Well, the result was never in doubt, was it? They controlled the game from start to finish, they created numerous chances, and they dictated the tempo. A very comfortable win for them in the end. Well, it's always an enjoyable experience watching Neymar. Your verdict on his performance? Well, it's a good performance. He worked hard, played well, and scored a goal. And his team won. What more could you ask for?